All right, talking about circles. Circle is defined geometrically as a set of points equidistant. There's that word again, equidistant. And in this term, equidistant is that radius. Equidistant from a center point. So, diagram shows a circle having center 2, negative 3, and a radius of 6. So you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up and down 6. Now it got stretched out a little bit, so it kind of looks more like an oval or an ellipse. But we're going to find the equation of a circle. So this point is 2, negative 3, and every point, call this every point, x, comma, y, is equidistant. Sounds an awful lot like the distance formula. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into that right triangle that we had before. And so this is going to be our r. We know that the r is 6 because it's 6 all the way around. That's why it's called the radius. That's how a circle is defined. And so we know the distance formula is the difference between the x's x2 minus x1 squared, and the difference between the y's, y2 minus y1 squared, added together, a squared plus b squared equals d squared, but then we take the square root of both sides, and so this is what the distance formula looks like. And so that's one way of doing it, or you could just say difference of the x's, and so I'm going to fill this in, x minus 2 squared plus y minus a negative 3, so plus 3 squared, equals our radius 6, um, and we take the square root of both sides. So if we square both sides, we get 6 squared is the square root, oh, not the square root, I just canceled it out, squared both sides x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 6 squared, or 36. So that's the equation of the circle. And so notice that it's really just the distance formula, or really Pythagorean theorem for a circle. And so it's x minus your h squared plus y minus your k squared equals whatever your radius is squared. So if you were to find an equation of a circle with center negative 2, 5, you do x minus a negative 2, which is that squared, plus y minus your 5, because remember negative 2, 5 is your center, so that's your h and your k, equals your radius 3 squared. And so I'm going to change that to 9, and then we'll be done. It's kind of nice. You can quickly tell that your center is negative 2, comma 5, opposite and opposite, because they're both with their respective x's and y's. And then the radius is 3. So moving on, graph of the equation x squared plus y squared is a circle with center. Notice there's no x. 8, h, x minus, or y minus. So this center is 0, 0. And the radius is still r squared, so this is 3 squared, so the radius is 3. If you slide every point of the circle to the right 2 units and up 5 units, so right 2 and up 5, the equation of the new circle, if I want to go right 2, I'm going to want to do the opposite. x minus 2 will give me to the right 2 and y to go up 5, I'm going to have to do minus 5. Remember, it's x minus h, y minus k. It's opposite for both of them. And the radius is still going to be the same. So it's still going to be 9, which is 3 squared. 
So in general, replacing x with an x minus h, just like we did, x minus 2, slides the graph h units horizontally. And the one with the k, the y, will shift it k units vertically. Opposite, opposite for both cases. Um, so slide to the right. If h is positive, so if it's x minus 5, slide to the left if h is negative, so x plus 7. What that's coming from is x minus a negative 7, so it's x minus h, so negative 7. Um, if k is positive, you slide up. So y minus 7, y minus k, k is the 7, and shift it down if k is negative, like y minus a negative 7. And so that's your k being negative. All right, so x minus 2 shifts it to the right 2. y plus 6 shifts it opposite, and so it shifts it down 6. And so the center is 2 comma negative 6. So you can go over 2 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. r squared equals 4, so r equals 2. So you can go to the right, to the left, up 2, and down 2. Again, this is a little more of a rectangular grid and so it's going to look a little more ovally than it needs to. But there's your circle. Plot your center first, opposite, opposite, and then go on down. So, if the graph of the equation of a um, given equation is a circle, find its center and its radius. If the equation has no graph, say so. All right, so we have an x squared and a y squared in it. We want to make it look like this. And so we're going to have to complete the square twice. Um, so I'm going to group the x's and the y's. x squared plus 10x. And then I'm going to leave some space because I'm going to complete the square. y squared minus 4y. And then I'm going to subtract the 21 over to the other side. Keep in mind, we're trying to get to this. So x plus something squared. To get 10, this is going to be 5. So we can have 5x and 5x. And so to get 5, we're going to have half of 10 is 5, squared is 25. And that's why we're going to have x plus 5, x plus 5. Think of it like that. And to get 4, you're going to need to have y minus 2. And so you'll have y minus 2 and y minus 2, and when you multiply that out, you'd have a plus 4. And so we need a plus 4 here. And so this 25 is being added to both sides, and the plus 4 is being added to both sides because we've got to keep the equation balanced. So that gives us a 4 and an 8. And so our center... is negative 5 comma 2 and our radius r squared equals 8 so r equals the square root of 8 which is the square root of 4 times 2 or 2 square root 2 alright I'm gonna get back to the geometry fact of the day this is find an equation of a circle of radius 3 that has its center in the first quadrant and is tangent to the y-axis at 0, 2. One, two. Its center um, 
has to be in the first quadrant someplace. And so the radius is 3, and it's going to be tangent. And so we need our center to be someplace that's perpendicular. And so the radius of this circle is going to be perpendicular to the tangent, and that's the geometry fact of the day. The radius of the circle is tangent sorry, is perpendicular to a line tangent to the circle. So, the y-axis is tangent to our circle, meaning it looks like this. And so, our radius has to be perpendicular to the tangent line, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3 in, because we know the radius is 3. And so that means the center has to be 3, comma, 2. And so we know it's got to look like this. And so the circle has to have an equation, x minus our h, 3, and y minus our k, which is 2, equals our r, 3, r squared, equals 9. And there is our equation for our circle. And that's how we graph equations and find equations of circles based on the graphs.